Cam Newton was on the field. He was 7-8 and eight last year as a starter. How would he do in this one? Well, I don't think he saw this last year. Gosh, Chase Young was so good. Yeah. Isaiah wins a first-round pick. I, Chase Young just did the dipsy do on him and went right under him. And look at this one. Whoop! Oh, my. That is, like, first-class stuff. He is a technician. He is a beast. And I don't first think class anybody, against the first team, right? Yeah, I don't think anybody, Cam Newton or anyone, was getting away from that. All right, Mac Jones comes in. It's against the number twos for Washington. But it's okay it's to crowd. be excited. The crowd was pumped, and Mac Jones looked really good. He looked competent. He looked confident. He looked efficient. This guy here, he goes, he's looking, he's looking. He's got Christian Wilkerson. Oh, Wilkerson can't bring it in, but it was a really nice pass. He got the goods, right? It was on the money, right? Like, Mac looks good. Like, he got the goods. Let's just call it what it is. Josh McDaniels. All right. All right. Third quarter. Let's go. Patriots are losing in this one. It's third and three. How will Mac do? He's in the no-huddle offense, which is kind of cool to see him do. This is Wilkerson making right. Okay. It's the first down. Very good run from him. Take another look here. Jones has a hand in his face. Watch this. Two. Finds it again with Wilkerson. Wilkerson. Played well after that drop. Mac Jones was really good throughout this game. Here he is. Boop. Finds a way. It was nothing that's going to wow you on a highlight reel. But it was no touchdowns, no interceptions, and he looked really in charge. A lot to like from Mac Jones in his preseason debut. Everything yeah, speaking of a lot to like, uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, Philadelphia Eagles, this was a good one. Very entertaining game. Nick Sirianni, head coaching debut. You got Devontae Smith chilling with the New York Yankees hat on. Mm -hmm. He's out with the MCL. Okay, Jalen Hurts, this is your team. No more Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz used to throw to the tight ends a lot. Jalen Hurts is doing the same thing. That's Dallas Goddard right there. 34 yards to the Steelers, 32. Okay, next Eagles possession. Jalen Hurts, who is he looking for? Schrager's guy. He called it yesterday. He said Quez Watkins will have himself a day. And he did. Jalen Hurts almost had him. Put a little bit more air on that. That would have been a 99-yard touchdown. Jalen Hurts would love that one back. You know what? Joe Flacco says, I throw a deep. I'll just give it to him right now behind the line of scrimmage. Here's a screenplay. And this is a 79-yard touchdown by Quez Watkins. Joe Flacco, he comes in, first down, first play, and he delivers just a quick little dime and lets Quez do the rest. The Eagles, they would lead at that point. Third quarter now. All right, Dwayne Haskins. Let's do it. The Dwayne Haskins era in Pittsburgh has begun. It looks like he has improved. He's trimmer. He's a little bit more focused. And this right here is a testament of that. 22-yard touchdown, Anthony Johnson. The Steelers were going to win this one. Haskins actually would finish 16-22 to and have himself 161 with the TD. It's a we good are, game. We got the Bills guys and the Lions tonight. That one on NFL Network. Excited about that. The Cowboys and the Cardinals as well. That one will be out in the desert. Will Sell is joining us on the West Coast this morning on a Friday the 13th that feels very Friday the 13th. Mm. Mm. true. Yes, it does. It felt ominous before the show, so still kind of getting that uh, that feeling, let's just say. Uh, hey, good thing we're is we're not putting any pinstripes on the side of any cars this morning. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, uh, either way. Uh, oh, my God. Either way. I, I love all of you. I, I, Nate, I just wish you could invite Gail King over to talk about Quez Watkins. That's all. I would love yeah, for that to happen. Yeah. Can you call one of your friends? This morning would have been perfect. So one of these days. Yes. We could pull up a chair. Gail, call yeah, Gail yeah. come on. She has a fantasy now. team, her and Oprah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The Montecito Roadhouse. Oh, yeah. Let's make this I'll happen. I'm going to Nate fantasy football. I'll yes. be so mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Either way, uh, Kay, you had mentioned uh, preseason slate, the schedule, obviously, this week, a full slate of preseason action, and the Jets and the Ravens will be kicking off their preseason on Saturday, but they'll be doing so without their promising wide receivers, not the way that they wanted to start the preseason, that's for sure. So we start in New York as Elijah Moore left practice Thursday and is being evaluated for a quad issue. He's expected to undergo an MRI to get more information on the extent of the injury. Jets fans keeping their fingers crossed that it's not serious. Meanwhile, in Baltimore, Ravens wide receiver Rashad Bateman will undergo surgery on his injured groin and will be sidelined until sometime in September. They open the regular season on September 13th against the Raiders, so there's a chance Bateman only misses that first game. Giants quarterback Dale Jones will not play in Saturday's preseason opener against the Jets. 
Mike Glennon will get the start, and third stringer Clayton Thorson will take over after Glennon. Head coach Mike Judge, or uh, Joe Judge rather, Mike Judge, love his work, says the plan is to treat the third preseason game as a traditional game, so we may not see Jones until then. Yes, I meant head coach Joe Judge. Tom Brady and the Bucks opening their preseason schedule Saturday against the Bengals. As we all know, Brady coming off off-season knee surgery. But at age 44, TB12 says he's feeling more comfortable in year two of Tampa's offense, both mentally and physically. I know it'd be, you know, kind of like English and Spanish. You know, you got to literally learn a different language uh, and then really, you know, kind of learn what you're doing. But then you got to learn how your players can do it. And then you still got to study how the defense is doing things. So, you know, there's a lot of different challenges that you face. And I think for me this year, mentally, it's been much better, much easier to kind of assimilate my way into camp. Uh, physically, I feel great. Um, best I felt, you know, really in a long time. So, um, you know, I feel like I'm in a good place and I'm just going to keep working really hard. Now, he says that he is in a great place physically. His quarterbacks coach in Tampa, Clyde Christensen, had said that it was basically like having this persistent headache. And so now here is Brady, who also says he doesn't need a sleeve at practice anymore mm. and that he is in tip top shape. He's ready to go. But then again, let's remember, Brady had said that 90 percent of what he says in the press conferences isn't exactly what he's thinking. Oh, so true. I don't know if uh, that's necessarily the case. Just throwing it yeah, out Yeah, this one I believe, though. Will, I believe this one, and thank you. I mean, yeah. of course he's feeling great. His knee's fixed. He's in Tampa. He does whatever he wants, and he just got a ring without Bill. What is this? Is this news? <laughs> What's your reaction, Nate, to hearing that Brady feels better this season than ever? He's Benjamin Brady, um, <laughs> and he's he's aging in reverse, which is ridiculous, but I don't think it's by accident. We all know the TB12 method. I believe we have a full screen for you guys to check out. You might want to screenshot oh, this if you're watching. But I needed to feel bad about myself this morning. Go on. Here's his diet. This is, all right, so we have a 20 ounce glass of water right out the gate. Okay. Is this, is this real or is this? What, what happened to the whole, I don't eat strawberries though? But there's other berries. Okay, so, all right. I was confused about that raspberries, one. Raspberries, This is true. Okay, and then you, you see the roasted vegetables and chicken. My question is, does he eat this every single day? Because I get bored with the same meal. Yeah. So I like to switch things up. I'm sure his chef throws a little something, little, you know, a little something, punch something in there, yeah. Okay, and check this out though. Um, this keeps on going. He wears sleepwear promoting cell oxygenation. Um, and then he hydrates before and after meals, not during. So you just eating? You can't like you know, take a little sip of water while Wait, I got a question. I'm skipping ahead. What, There's a lot going on. We talk about nightshades. Yeah, no nightshades. You can't have mushrooms. Okay. So that's like what they mean that. by that? Okay. Yes. I think nightshade. that and tomatoes are inflammatory. Anything that I've read I've, I've read up on this. I'm interested in it. Yeah. yeah. Food food with dark colors? Uh like natural. <laughs> I'll look it up. You guys keep talking. 2021? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I want to talk what, about his. What knee. is this show? <laughs> Come on, what man. Is this show? What? A nightshade um, is like a tomato. Like I said, eggplants. Potatoes. He's avoiding all these. What? He's avoiding all yes, these. Yes, it's like um, it's. They contain something that has like that's toxic and high concentrations that inflames. Mm. So if you have anything that's inflamed, it'll make it worse. And so that's why people avoid eating tomatoes for that fact. Mm. For that I think that the knee thing is incredible. I mean, in all honesty, this yeah. guy played in the Super Bowl not with like a hurt knee, with a torn MCL, it's crazy. and he did it, and he played in it, and he took hits, and he was fine. So. Here's my, this, I, I'm like, because I'm like, can he do it again? He's, I know he's 44, and it's 17 game regular season, and now they're the hunted, oh. and like, and I don't want to doubt him and all this stuff, but like, last year he did it, and he did it with a torn knee. Like, I, so I, I believe him. I think he looks great. Obviously, he sounds great. He was at Peyton's Hall of Fame and like looked as happy and as enlightened as he's ever been. I just, it's hard to ever doubt Tom Brady. Obviously. And the fact that he did it last year without us knowing about the knee injury makes it all the more impressive for this year. So, you know the deal. 22 starters, everyone's back, everyone's happy, everyone's paid. It's, it's going to be really hard to pick against Tampa Bay in the NFC, I'll just say that. You're right about that. I put the BS in the GB12 diet. It's not mushrooms, but it is tomatoes, eggplant, potatoes, and peppers. Tobacco also in the night. Tomato is a red. Family. It's a red. But it's not, I don't know why. They have yellow it. tomatoes too. Night I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm At on 44, a you're going to